Greetings to all. This is Pulkit Singla, roll number 10180334, batch COE15. This is my project for engineering design 3, wherein I have tried to design an automatic, touchless, hand soap dispensing system. The basic hardware used to make this project was an Arduino Uno R3, an ultrasonic distance sensor HCSR04, and a servo motor. The basic idea behind making this project is that in these times of pandemic, wherein virus spreads through mere touch or contact with humans, it is advisable and both necessary to make such devices which restrict the human contact. Soap dispensing systems are a common use in households, being used by almost all the family members and people visiting us. So, if the process of soap dispensing is automated, it would reduce human contact to a large extent, thus saving our lives. Now, I will tell you a bit about the components used in the project. First of all comes the ultrasonic distance sensor HCSR04. The distance sensor used here HCSR04 is a small, lightweight, economical and a high range distance sensor. The range for this sensor goes from 20 cm to 400 cm. This is very small in size and so fits anywhere. The servo motor used is small, lightweight and has a high output power. Also, the shaft of the motor rotates at about 180 degrees. Now, I'll tell you about the connections. First of all, the power and the ground pins of our sensor are connected to the power and ground pins of our Arduino. Similarly, the power and ground pins of our motor are connected to the power and ground pins of our Arduino. Then, the trigger pin of our sensor is connected to the digital pin number 10 of our Arduino, whereas the eco pin is connected to the digital pin number 11 of our Arduino. The signal pin of our motor is connected to the digital pin number 9 of our Arduino. Now, let us talk about the code. So here, first of all, as I told you about the connections, we define the pins and the pin numbers. Then we define the variables. Herein, I have used the variables duration and distance to record the time and distance. Then we include the servo libraries because without these, the servo motor won't function. After including the libraries, we define an object of this library because this object will be used to further use the functions which come along with the library. Then we come to the setup part of our program wherein we, design, we decide which pin will be our output pin and which pin will be our in input pin. So here the trigger is decided to be the output pin and <coughs> echo is decided to be the input pin. Also we start the serial communication. Then we come to a loop part wherein first of all we <coughs> decide and define our trigger pin to be low. After a delay of 2 seconds, we further change the trigger pin to be high. After again a delay of microseconds of 10 microseconds, we again define the trigger pin to be low. Then, using the echo pin, we read its values and return the sound wave travel time in microseconds, which is then fed into the duration variable. This duration variable is used to calculate the distance which is done using du the formula duration into 0.034 by 2. Now here the 0.034 is the speed of sound in air in centimeters in microseconds and it is divided by 2 because of reflection. Then we print the distance which we have calculated above. Then we come to the servo motor part. Now herein we firstly predefine a distance. If a person puts his hand between the dispenser and the certain dis uh, defined distance 
only then the dispenser will dispense the soap. Here we define the distance to be 30 cm. If the distance is 30 cm or less, that is, a man puts his hand 30 cm or less away from the sensor, only then it will dispense the soap. When the distance is less than 30, it sets the servo shaft in stages from 0 to 180, rotating the shaft 45 degrees every second. After each rotation of 45 degrees, there is a delay of 1 second, and after it has completely rotated to 180 degrees, there is a delay of 3 seconds. After this delay of 3 seconds, the shaft comes back to its original position. And after a delay of 5 seconds, further, if any other person puts his hand, again the soap dispenser dispenses the soap. This is how my project works. Now I'll show you the simulation. Now here my project has initialized that is the simulation has initialized. Now for the first second the shaft has rotated to 45 degrees. Now after another second has passed the shaft again rotates. And now here after passing of seconds it comes back to its original position 0. This is how the project works. I hope you like it. Thank you.